Hey guys, it's Robin from the League of Cosplayers here. I'm trying to do a cosplay work log type thingy. It's more like a tutorial. I'm gonna teach you how to make patterns out of duct tape. It's really simple. You can do it on yourself. I prefer to do it on a dress form just because it's easier for me to draw out the pattern that I want. So I'm gonna show you what I've been doing over here. Just over here, I have an old t-shirt on top of my dress form that I've put small strips of duct tape onto. They're just small strips. It just makes it easier so that you can get it compact and make it so that it actually fits on the dress form and on your body. And um, I usually just like to do half of the whole thing just because I either put a seam down the middle or I will cut on fold. So I just do about half all the way around and I mark the armhole and everything. And um, once I get it all taped up, I'll take a permanent marker, a Sharpie of some sort, and I will just draw on it where I want the seams to be and how I want it to look. Um, I don't have a permanent marker easily accessible, I don't think. Here's my super messy cosplay workstation over there, but mm. so this cosplay I'm working on is Lissa from Fire Emblem Awakening for our cosplay group that we're doing. I am going to be Lucina and Chibi Ninjas being um, Lissa and Wolf Paladin is being Krom and it's pretty exciting. So what I basically like to do is I'm just going to, I don't have, hmm. I'm gonna go find my tripod and then I'll be back. Sorry about that, didn't find my tripod but I found something that works. So let me show you exactly what I like to do when I'm making patterns with the duct tape method. So I will basically just draw the pattern on. So there is my front middle seam for this vest. It's going to be the vest for Lissa. And it's basically, here's going to be the top of it because it comes down across underneath her bust. So I'm going to draw directly underneath the bust where I want it to be. And then I'm going to just circle it up and have it do exactly what I want it to do on here. And then later I'm going to cut it all out and mark all my seams where I want them to be. So over here where my side seam is, I'm going to just draw a line. For my side seam and then I'll cut directly onto that side seam and then later I will put them all down on top of my pattern paper and trace it out and give myself some seam allowance and whatnot. So I'm gonna finish tracing this and I'll get back to you when I'm done tracing. Okay, so I am done tracing my pattern on to the um, duct tape, so I'm going to show you what it looks like when you're done holding, when you're done tracing everything onto the duct tape. So here are all my lines. Here is the top seam right there. It's going to be exactly like that is. It's hopefully going to um, fit her right. We're not quite the same size so I'm going to do a couple mock-ups and have her try them on before we officialize anything because like I said we're a couple different sizes. So right down here is that's my front seam and then my bottom seam right there. I do have two seams right here that I'm doing mostly just for vanity. It's mostly just going to be something that's there. She has the seams on her vest in the game, so I'm putting those in there. These lines are all just for my reference so that I know how the crisscross on this side is going to work. Um, but here is the strap that's going to go up and around and just a very simple back seam back here. 
I will probably be doing the back on fold so I just did it directly down the back rather than trying to worry about a seam allowance there but I can decide if I'm gonna put a seam allowance there later or not when I get it all cut out and put on pattern paper so I'm going to start cutting this all out and I will show you how that's done So while you're cutting, you're going to want to direct, um, cut directly on the lines that you made because we're going to be tracing these later on pattern paper so you can add your seam allowances then rather than having to worry about trying to add seam allowances right now. So I just realized that I didn't pull back a seam that was supposed to go all the way to the back, this strap seam that kind of curves around down there. I didn't add that. The nice thing about cutting out the whole entire shape at one time, it's all just one shape right now, is that I can go back in and add that. So here is the full cutout vest, or half of the vest rather. Um, I am now just going to start cutting the seams. I also didn't add a line for the shoulder seams, so I'm just going to throw it right back on to my dress form. a line where my shoulder seam should go. Then I can just throw it off and I'll just start cutting directly on those lines for my seams. What I like to do while I'm cutting out is labeling them as I go. It just makes it so much easier to be able to figure out where the pieces go later. So I will just take my marker and I'll mark where the center front seams are. And I'll mark where the shoulder seam is. And I'll just label the piece. I'll give it a number or I'll give it some sort of word so I'll know what it is. This one I'm going to call the collar strap piece because it just goes directly like that long her. So there's that piece. I'm not super fancy when I'm marking my pattern pieces. I just directly write on there with the words what it says and what it is. I do arrows for the up and down and I just kind of, they're not super fancy. I'm not using this super fancy pattern language or whatever. I'm just writing what it is so I know what it is later. So now that I got all my pieces cut out and marked, I can go through, depending on exactly what you're making, you might have some pieces that won't lay flat. Like if you're going to make a really intense corset pattern using this, which I have done before, I can show you my old pattern pieces if you want to see from my Lucina and stuff like that. But you will probably have to cut darts in them, and then I'll, um, when you trace them down, you'll just trace around the dart so that you know that you have to put a dart in there to get it to fold and curve the way that it does on the body. Because this is duct tape, it's really malleable, and this isn't super tight fitting, so I don't have to do that to any of my pieces but you might have to in the future for any of your projects. That is basically how you make duct tape patterns. I've done it for um, gloves and armor where I just saran wrapped my arm and then I duct taped and just drew on the duct tape on my arm. It's very doable, it's really easy, duct tape's really inexpensive, and it's probably one of the easiest methods of, duct, of patterning that I've done. I do 
pattern out all my own stuff so this is really nice especially for when I'm not sewing for me and there's different sizes I can just throw it on my dress form and make a duct tape pattern and figure it out from there so that's basically how you do it like I said you're gonna want to transfer it onto some newspaper some pattern paper give yourself some seam allowance do a mock-up before you do it out of your really expensive fabric I'm not gonna show you that process right now because I need chibi ninja here to try the things on as I'm sewing it so maybe I'll show you tomorrow when I get together with her and we're gonna start working on it but for now this is the very basic duct tape, duct, duct tape pattern tutorial on how to make your own pa patterns with duct tape. Thanks guys, subscribe, see you guys later.